y'all hey, i am so proud of myself and i just have to to brag on on myself a little today okay so pat on the back for me because major accomplishment in my life today it, it all started every good story starts with that one it all started when so t today my work has this thing where we have a training once a month and they will buy food for the staff to have during the training for those who may not know i work at a group home and so we have three group homes on campus so each house gets its own food delivered to the homes and staff can can eat during the um, virtual trainings that we have well today i was not able to attend the training because i had to take one of our girls to a doctor's appointment so i'm sitting in the doctor's appointment and it's a 11 o'clock doctor's appointment oh i'm thinking oh you know usually we don't have to be there too terribly long but 11 o'clock it's it's kind of in that lunch time frame so we're sitting there waiting waiting like most of the time you have to do at a doctor's office and we're actually just waiting on blood work the doctor has seen us the nurse has seen us we're just sitting there waiting for someone to come draw her blood for some blood work and we've been waiting you know 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes yeah it was it was a while it was over 30 minutes that we waited but during that time you know it's it's approaching more and more into lunch so I, I'm starting to get a little hungry and so hungry to the point that the girl in the doctor's office with me can hear my stomach growling that that's how hungry I was getting. So not a big deal. I'm a grown adult. I can handle it. I, I am just a little hungry at this point. Finally, doctor comes in. Meds are, or blood is drawn. We're good. We're heading out. Now it's a 30 minute drive back to the house. So I've probably been hungry for about an hour at this point. So once you've been hungry for a certain amount of time, for some people that hunger then turns into hanger. Okay, and hangry is a real thing, and I really suffer from it pretty severely. I become like the Incredible Hulk. I just want to be like, Rrr, smash things. It, it's bad. Just bad. Ask anybody who's ever known me hangry, and they will tell you it, it's pretty bad. So I'm, I'm walking in to the house and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to go straight to the kitchen. I'm going to grab me a sandwich because I had forgotten that it was training day and we had food coming in. Forgot about all that. All I was thinking about was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I was going to scarf that down real quick before I really had a chance to talk to anybody so that my hangry didn't start coming out. So I walk in the door. Y'all, it, it was like the opposite of when a light comes on and the cockroaches scatter yeah it was like they all just flocked to me they were just coming out the woodworks what is happening staff was coming from everywhere and they look at me and they go where's our chicken oh. i'm sorry am i am i wearing overalls do, do I look like a farmer? Do, do I appear to be dressed as a chicken farmer? That I know where the chicken is? Well, this house got chicken. Where's our chicken? I, am I wearing a chicken place apron that looks like I made the chicken and cooked the chicken 
Am I wearing some kind of delivery system jacket that makes it look like I know where the chicken is? Where's our chicken? What are y'all talking about? Where's your chicken? Well, it ain't at the doctor's office where I just came from. I can tell you that much. Well, the other house, they got chicken. Where's our chicken? We didn't get any chicken. Okay, well, now remember, I'm hangry. And clearly, everyone else in the house is hangry, too. So this could get real ugly real quick. I try to con uh, keep my composure. <laughs> well, um, did anybody ask in the meeting or let anyone who's leading the meeting know that we, we didn't get chicken delivered to the house? No. All right. Did anybody email the person who, who handles the, the, the food ordering for the houses? No. Okay, so basically what you're telling me is y'all did absolutely nothing except wait for me to come back so I can take care of finding the chicken. Got it, got it. Oh, okay. All right. So I sent an email. Hey, just letting you know our house didn't get our chicken order. Just FYI. Thanks for everything you do, you're amazing. Okay, then I ask one of the staff, can you just mention it in the meeting? Cause I'm clearly not in the meeting because I just got in from this appointment. Can you just mention that, hey, we didn't get our chicken. Just see if maybe somebody knows where our chicken is. Okay, she mentions, she says, the other house has our chicken. Okay, all right. So the other house has our, we'll go get, I will go get the chicken. It's pouring down rain, y'all. I will go get the chicken. Let me go get the chicken. Put on my jacket, walk over to the house, get the chicken from the other house, bring it back. Then we get an email from the lady who orders the food. Don't eat the chicken. It's been contaminated. What? The chicken has been at another house. You can't eat that chicken for for um, health reasons. Y'all, it's in a box. They didn't even open the box, but we can't eat that chicken. Can't touch the chicken. Don't eat the chicken. Don't eat it. Okay. She says, I got fresh chicken coming to y'all. Okay, so what you're telling me is I can't eat this chicken even though I just crossed the campus in a monsoon to get the chicken, but don't eat the chicken. Okay. We'll just wait. I'm just gonna wait patiently for the chicken to come. And it's two o'clock at this point. I've been hangry. I've been hungry since 11:30, and I've been hangry since about 12:45. But okay, about two o'clock. Still no chicken. And every five minutes, staff keeps coming up to me. Where's the chicken? Where the chicken? I don't know where the chicken is. Cause I still ain't wearing overalls. Still don't have a chicken place apron on. Don't know where the chicken is. Okay. So the chicken finally arrives. Finally gets here. And the staff asks me, well, is it chicken tenders or is it chicken pieces? Do you see this bag in my, I literally just opened the door and shut the door. The bag is still in my, I have not opened the bag. I have not looked at, I don't know what kind of chicken. Let, let me, um, I'm gonna go with, y'all. I, I know my coworkers know that I'm close to Jesus. They know that Jesus and I have a relationship and that, that that we tight. But they asking things from me that even Jesus didn't do. When he multiplied, he had the fishes and the loaves. He didn't pull it out of thin air. 
He didn't just make a fish just flop up out of the ground. No, he took what he had and multiplied it. Yo, we ain't got no chicken. Y'all asking me to just pull chicken out of the air. Even Jesus didn't do that. Come on now. Goodness gracious, y'all. There's chicken. There's a whole salad in there. We got a salad delivered. Ain't nobody want to eat the salad. Where the chicken? Chicken finally gets there. And they want to know, is it, is it chicken tenders or chicken pieces? Well, why don't we just open it up and find out? Open it up. The face. Wear the mask and I could see on one of the one of the staff's faces. Like she she didn't want it because it won't chicken pieces with chicken tenders. So help me. You are gonna eat this chicken. Do, do you hear me? You will eat this chicken. Asking me where the chicken is, where the chicken, I get the chicken for you, and then you wanna act like you don't want the chicken. Oh, you gonna eat the chicken. They finally get the chicken. You know what time the chicken gets there? By the time I get ready to leave. So guess what? I'm still hangry. <laughs> but everybody got their chicken, okay? So it's all good. Everybody fine. They got their chicken. Now I'm going to go eat some dinner at 4 o'clock. Like an older person. Which I ain't even going to lie. It's pretty much my lifestyle anyway. But get the chicken. Where the chicken? Here's your chicken. I hope everybody enjoys their chicken tonight. Chicken. Chicken. So yeah, the reason why I want to pat myself on the back and say good job was because even though I was hangry, clearly dealing with other hangry people, I still have my job at the end of the day. Which means I did not act out in my hangriness. Quite an accomplishment for me. So yay me. Let's celebrate by eating some chicken.